Thanks for joining us. I'm Marlon Bowling with you and keeping a close eye on our ag commodity trade. And in fact, let's go ahead and uh, dive right into our quotes provided by Bar Chart, starting with the corn board here. Let's go to the big board right now. And right now on the May contract, we are trading three quarters of a cent higher at 649. You know, this is just almost like what we have seen for the last several days where you have an overnight sale announcement of corn and and then the market just kind of fizzles out right after the open. It just doesn't seem to be overly enthused about that. Kind of like old news. I mean, we sold over 136,000 tons of corn again this morning to uh, uh, China, and yet we're only fractionally higher. And we have December corn now one and three quarters higher at 571 and a half. Just uh, not very exciting this morning. Now on soybeans, that's a whole different story. There was no news for soybeans, at least the way it seemed anyway. And yet you have May soybeans going up by 14 and a half cents. We're now at 14.56 and three quarters. And July is up 14. November new crop is nine and a half cents higher at 12.98. Look at that. It's on the high of the day right now. And within two cents of hitting $13 once again. Now moving on to our wheat, we go to Chicago first. May wheat there just a half cent higher at 6.98 and a half. We did breach $7, got as high as $704 and a half early on in the uh, early morning hours, but uh, fell back below seven bucks right now. And you have July now trading three quarters of a cent higher. In Kansas City wheat, the May contract is gaining seven cents at 867 and a quarter. And July now up six and three quarters cents on the day. In Minneapolis, you have the May spring wheat down a half cent at 873. And July is a penny and a half higher at 875. Checking out our cotton market this morning. We have July currently trading 97 points higher. We're at 80.96 per pound. And December now 96 points higher. And it's back up to 80.75 per pound. Now it's up an even penny, 100 points. Well, I want to bring in the one and only Ben Hushen of the mill in Whitehall, Maryland, to talk about conditions in the mid-Atlantic part of the country where we're getting ever closer to the start of planting season. And Ben, I know you and I have talked at length about conditions getting ready uh, for planting this year. I know uh, a lot of folks have been applying fertilizer, et cetera. And I've been talking this morning about the northern half of the key growing belt of the U.S., like the northern plains, the, the upper Midwest, really having trouble dealing with uh, lingering moisture and uh, still having a lot of snowpack on the ground after a long winter. Uh, just wondered where you fit in there. Are you on the wet side of the line? Or are you on the dry side of the line? Or are you straddling the fence and you're about ideal right there? Uh, good morning, Marlon. You know, it's interesting. Uh, we have had a total opposite pattern the entire winter. Uh, and we've talked a couple of times. I believe by about the 10th of January, we didn't even have frost in the ground. We were rare if we saw a snow flurry. And, in fact, we were really pretty dry uh, harvest right on through, right on through uh, late winter. Now, this past Thursday through Saturday, we had an inch and a half of rain, and, and the folks who were out doing any kind of field work were talking about how dry it was getting. So uh, certainly generally warmer than normal and uh, certainly a little drier than normal. So pretty much the polar opposite of what you described in the – up northern Midwest. Looks like maybe just a few scattered showers just off to your south here, headed through that uh, part of the country here today, according to Tim Ross's radar shot. Um, what are the farmers doing right now as far as positioning for the start of planting season? Do you think they're maybe two weeks away, three weeks away? When do you start there? I believe they're every bit of three weeks away. Now, don't get me wrong. They're, they're anxious. I mean, they... They spread fertilizer and lime right up till the rain uh, early Thursday morning. And we're back out in some fields uh, yesterday for the viewers. I sent in some pictures and, and videos, and they were back out in the field uh, spreading fertilizer, pretty much getting all the soybean fertilizer spread. And now some of them are starting to move into corn, um, spreading their corn fertilizer. Not a heavy shot of nitrogen, but... But the you know, a little bit of nitrogen and the balance of their P and K. And the other thing, because the weather forecast, we missed the chance of showers last night. It's pretty much clear through Friday, so 
had several questions yesterday and today about wheat. Uh, we had our first application of nitrogen a month ago. Uh, the earliest planted wheat is in that six, four, five. So that means it's above ankle high, growing really well as to whether they should be putting their Palisade growth regulator on with a second shot of nitrogen or not. But we're supposed to be 29 degrees here again in a couple of days. So our encouragement is wait till this next little cold snap comes through. And fun fact, uh, 10 days ago, I took soil temperature and we were 43 degrees. Uh, Yesterday, we had gone backwards temperature was down to 40 so that'll certainly that in today's chilly air will certainly slow the thoughts of uh starting too early much before the 10th or 15th of april oh think. yeah yeah that makes the corn seed in the bag shiver when you say that all right well ben <laughs> thanks for all the information i appreciate the update ben hushin of the mill he's in whitehall maryland i'll come back and get you updated on our livestock trade coming up after this <laughs> 